What's going on everybody? This is Birchpreneur and in this video I want to talk to you guys about my crypto mining farm which is not really a farm but it, you know it's a ragtag type of thing. It's how everybody's mining farms first start off in the beginning stages before it becomes a great big money machine. Now before I get into this video make sure you guys go down like the video subscribe and do what you got to do when it comes to those free stocks because you know you need them and I know I need them. Now go ahead and do me the favor, get some free stocks. Crypto mining is basically using a piece of hardware, i.e. a computer, mainly a processor, but nowadays GPUs, ASICs, and FPGAs, and basically solve what they call blocks in order to obtain more cryptocurrency. Now the cryptocurrency I'm mining right now is Bitcoin. I am using NiceHash. NiceHash just tends to be the most easiest, beginner-friendly software to use for most mining, even though it isn't the most efficient and it isn't really the one that you can make the most money off of, it is beginner-friendly. Not saying that I'm a beginner because I actually tried crypto mining in like 2018. I first bought a freaking Antminer D3. I bought some fake ass GPUs off of Wish. Do not buy your GPUs off of Wish. Please don't do that. You're going to regret it. Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Seriously. Now, before we get into my GPU mining farm, let's talk about this Antminer D3 that I got. Uh, there's the dinosaur herself. So you can see right there, Antminer D3, this little thing thing right here. And it's heyday was probably making a about $500 per day for the owners. Here's the PSU, Bitmain official. These are the little PS PCIe cables that will connect all up in there or whatever. And you know, this video isn't about the freaking app miner itself, but you know, I just want to show you guys how serious I was about getting this free coin and free money. Now for the main event or the main course in this sense is obviously this bad boy right here. I got two GPUs running right now. I'll take the frame off of this one. This is a GeForce GTX 1660 Super. This is a G GeForce RTX 2070 Super. I got a freaking i7 10th generation. I got four sticks of RAM, eight gigabytes each, 32 gigs total. Come mess with me, you can't do it. Right here, 600 watts for now. I gotta upgrade that when I get more GPUs. Obviously, I'm gonna have to get a freaking, uh, what is it called? A mining case uh, and some riser boards so I can utilize these other PCIe connectors and stuff like that. There's two more up in there, but I'm not about to squeeze up in there. Now you guys may be wondering, what the hell got me into crypto mining? Why does anybody get into crypto mining? We want money. We want to make money while on the toilet. We want to make money while sleeping. We want to make money while we're out making money. Why would you not want that in your life? Why would you not want some free stocks? Go down and get some free stocks too. So at this very moment, I'm going to check on my nice hash app. The current profitability on a 24 hour scale is $4.11. You can see right there, I got one active rig, one inactive rig. Uh, the unpaid mining balance so far is 47 cents. Pretty sucky, but it's all right. This is my total assets so far. This is how much I've mined so far, $19.23. This right here is going to show me all the things I need to know about what's mining and what's doing what it does. As you can see, the temperatures on these are at a cautious level, meaning that I should probably work on getting them cooler. Now you can see right here, if you look at the CPU mining, it only says 51%. Now, in order to fix this, I would have to go log into the motherboard itself. It's an Asus motherboard, and I basically have to mess with the CPU settings in order to hyperdrive that. However, I do want my CPU to last a bit longer, so every now and again, I'll probably switch this off. On top of that, it's not really mining much. It's probably earning me between four and eight cents, because when you think you should know is that the current profitability always fluctuates you can see right now it's 379 it was just 411 the most money you spend while crypto mining is actually in cooling down your house from the crypto mining itself but you always want to try to keep it in shaded areas the idea is that you want to keep the hardware as cool as possible that way it lasts longer but i'll say the best thing about crypto mining is that everything i do at any given time i can say that i'm making some form of money and it's completely passive it's the best passive income there is in my opinion really just buy the stuff download the drivers download the software hook everything up correctly and let it run and it starts making money for you <laughs> that's about it for this video guys you know if you love passive income types of videos i'll be more than happy to talk about it more now i got this mining rig going man Psh, whole new content coming for you guys man look this has been bridgepreneur and i am out of here